But it's not just him. And a lot of people just saying it's him. It's not just him that was in that group home. We spoke with a 17 year old from Milwaukee who was in the group home run by Jamaro Dantzler, now charged with raping another teen boy in Brown Deer. The transgender teen asked us to conceal her identity for safety reasons. The police went to this group home thousands of times. I mean, and the staff members, including him, used to sit and they used to be. She was not sexually abused by Dantzler, but did have sexual relations with another employee of the group home when she was just 15. She tells me Dantzler knew all about it and never called authorities. Dantzler was a part of it. He knew all about it. And he was pretty much upset with me. And he kicked me out of his group home was because he wanted to be a part of it. News of Dantzler's arrest has shocked those who knew him at his former church, Lion of Judah, on the north side. It was just devastating because it's so out of character. When, as long as I knew him, I would have never have known. And now that the rape accusations against Dantzler have been made public, this teen hopes authorities take other victims' stories seriously. I feel like I should speak out. I mean, because I spoke out beforehand, so it's only right that I speak out. Now, Jamaro Dantzler was an elder at that church for several years. I'm told he did not have access to children. He also owns other businesses in Milwaukee. Live in the newsroom, Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News.